Assalamu alaikum and very good evening my dear students today we are going to start the second lecture on chapter 7 from your BGS book and in this at the end of this lesson we are uh, going to learn especially what is the what are the main fundamental state policies of Bangladesh and uh, definition of constitution and a short historical background of our constitution forming our constitution and main characteristics of our constitution so let us start the lesson number three lesson number three is on fundamental state policies what is fundamental state policy fundamental means basic we know and state policy means the policies or rules of or, or regulations for the state that means after the liberation war uh, we fixed our policy makers under the leadership of Bangamundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman we fixed four fundamental state policy that we can see in the diagram and out of those uh, nationalism is the first one what is our nationalism we like to give our identity as Bangali so our nationalism is was said Bangali nationalism so what is Bangali nationalism as being a Bangladeshi citizen we have taken birth in Bangladesh and uh, we have a common language our mother language is Bangla and to establish this as a state language we struggled in 1952 and from that onward we have did many struggle and through this struggle we have achieved attained a sense of uniqueness and we have developed a tradition and culture as a Bengali irrespective of any other uh, identity in our country so Bengali nationalism means we are Bengali and we have a uh, unique identity on the basis of Bengal language uh, number two socialism socialism indicate uh, the equitable distribution in economic sector and ensure the amenities or services and the facilities for all the people and it was the basic objective or one of the basic objective or fundamental state policy because when a state or a nation follows socialism they can ensure impartial justice and uh, and building and uh, uh, exploitation free society and third one is secularism uh, secularism means in a state every citizen that means Muslims or Hindu Buddhist Christian everyone will get equal facilities to observe uh, or to celebrate their religious activities uh, no one can uh, disturb their activities religious activities and no one get more preference on the basis of religion and um, last of all the democracy is another very much important uh, fundamental state policy by this policy by this idea we wanted to ensure or our state has ensured equal or uh, participation of every people in our state policy making and it ensure also human basic human rights uh, like freedom and uh, some other rights as a human being so here democracy means the to ensure the policy which ensure people's participation in every aspect uh, uh, to run our state uh, generally they imply their this right through the vote so these are the four main fundamental state policies hope you'll able to understand and describe what, what is fundamental state policies and what are the four fundamental state policies of Bangladesh now we are going to learn the lesson number four the main uh, 
characteristics of Bangladesh Constitution. The main characteristics of Bangladesh Constitution. So, at first we need to know what is Constitution. Constitution is a basic document for running the state. That means some rules and regulation either it can be written or it cannot be written. Uh, like it is one kind of lifestyle for the state. Like we follow different type of lifestyle in our personal and our family life. Uh, in our day-to-day -day life, what we should do, what we should not do. Uh, like um, we always try to speak the truth. Uh, these types of policies may come from sometime religion or social custom. Same, same way constitution is one kind of supreme law for the state following these steps of law state activities is run and all the people are bound to follow these basic rules or laws so how what is constitution you hope you are able to describe it and now we need to know how our constitution was developed and how it was compo started to composition and uh, we know after the liberation war under the leadership of Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman uh, we achieved our lib uh, liberation independence in 1971 when Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman came in Bang return Bangladesh uh, and after entering Bangladesh his first order was one of the important order was to form a committee to write uh, an ideal constitution for our nation so on the part of that first uh, he uh, made a con committee in the, under the leadership of Dr. Kamal Hussein and there are some other around uh, 34 uh, members in this committee who uh, made a draft and in the first session of Ganapurisha this order was given 10th April 1972 and uh, uh, they presented the constitution in Ganapurisha that means that time the name of our parliament was Ganapurisha in on 30th October 1972 and uh, finally this constitution was approved by, uh, in that Ganapurisha the parliament on 4th November 1972 uh, and different types of debate arose and we uh, brought some addition and finally we in the parliament approved the constitution uh, the basic uh, laws of the state on 4th November. So we need to uh, uh, keep our um, memory when the Ganapurish uh, uh, constitution was presented and Ganapurisha 1st 30th October 1972 and second time it was approved 7, uh, 4th November 1972. And it was effective, it was made effective from 16 December 1972. That means the same year, only by nine month, months we uh, become able to write our constitution and we started to go for implementation from 16 December. So, you know, uh, there are some basic structure of our constitution that already we have, I have discussed. Number one, it was written and it has a preamble that means an uh, introductory part and it has 11 parts and a main 153 articles. And still it was amended that means it was changed, brought some changes, addition was um, adapted in 8, uh, 16 time after the liberation war till today. And uh, last edition we can see last amendment or addition uh, it was taken place in uh, second 22nd September 2014
and in our constitution the previous lesson what we have learned and four is fundamental state policy it is included now we will learn what are the basic characteristics of constitution of bangladesh 1972 that means the first constitution which was not amended that time so main characteristics or features of this constitution number one people's republic of bangladesh that means what will be the form of government we read in lesson in lecture number one uh, there are different forms of government uh, uh, constitutional monarchy is one kind of form in democracy and another form was republic so bangladesh follow the people's republic of bangladesh that means where peoples are powerful they can decide directly indirectly or by their vote who will be the head of state or head of the government and supreme law that means constitution is our supreme law and main rules and regulations uh, laws are written here it is a written constitution we know uh, there are different types of constitution written and unwritten and generally uh, it is a rigid type of constitution because uh, it is very tough to change uh, in our uh, con in our parliament we uh, need two third majority for bringing any type of any sort of changes in our constitution and in our constitution we are following parliamentary form of democracy that we have learned in first lecture we follow republic and under the republic we follow parliamentary form of democracy not presidential form of democracy presently and that time in the first um, constitution and still and it this parliamentary form of democracy was re established in 12th amendment of um, our constitution so what is parliamentary democracy we have learned uh, where parliament get the maximum power for to control the executive that means a legislature of the parliament um, is more powerful in our country where prime minister is more powerful than our president and this types of form of uh government also called cabinet form of government or parliamentary form of go government and sometimes it is also called ministerial form of government uh, fundamental principles of the state that we have learned in previous uh, lesson that what are the fundamental state policies we uh, are following the, those rules and regulations uh we will run our our state activities is going to be run and we can remember democracy secularism nationalism bangladesh nationalism and socialism is our main fundamental state policies and under parliamentary form of democracy we are following unitary form of government that means we have only one central government as for our country is a very small country so we don't need any provincial or we uh, government or state government and in uh, our parliament we have only one camera or that means uh, one room uh, that's why it is called unicameral legislature we don't have any upper house or lower house so uh, the name of our um, parliament presently is jatiya sangsad earlier it was it is it was called ganaparishad and fundamental rights it is other important characteristics of our constitution that a main or fundamental rights are written here so that everybody can get equal facilities and everyone uh, irrespective poor and rich get the equal benefit of from the service of the state and sovereignty of the people uh, that means the utmost power of the state mechanism or state power will be rendered to the hand of the general people 
and it will be implemented by their vote direct indirect vote or sometime by referendum independence of judiciary in our constitution it is written uh, we have different three organs one is legislature number two is executive and number three is judiciary of our government so these are the three organs of our government and out of these three organs judiciary will be free from the control of executive or the legislature that means from parliament or our executive that means who rule our country uh, ministers and some other bodies so judiciary will run their um, justice uh, and will give their verdict free and fairly and nation and nationality as a national identity we know we are uh, Bengali on the basis of our identity national identity but as being citizen we are Bangladeshi that is the main difference between our uh, nation as a nation we are Bengali and nationality uh, as, a, as a citizen we are Bangladeshi and last of all um, uh, election process uh, suppose a government is formed in 19 2014 so it will run their activities or by their government suppose only government uh, came in power in 19 for uh, 2014 after coming the um, coming in the power that government has ruled us five years and by these five years and the, when their term or duration will be over then by from that day in 90 days uh, within the 90 days the new parliament election will be held and new government will be formed okay we understood that means after every five years new election will be held and national election will be held and at the end, when the date will be over of the government and from that day within the 90 days new election will be held and new government will come in power and um, last of all the amendment of the constitution that means the change how we can change any article of our constitution that we have learned earlier again for the repetition uh, we need to change the, the parliament that means parliament members uh, out of 300 parliament members two-third majority need to support or give yes vote supporting the probable change in our constitution so we have come to know still 16 time we have changed our uh, constitution and last change was brought in 22nd September 2014 so that's all for today I hope you have you've understood on the last today's lecture and now you have some homework hope everyone will be able to answer what is socialism and uh, it, this question is very much important you can see it came in Kumila board 2019 and what is constitution it came in Chittagong board in 2019 and what is called unitary form of government it is also very much important it, is, it came in Joshua board and for BTAP question you, you can learn this one it is also important it came in Dinaspur board explain Bangladesh government uh, based on distribution of power uh, that means um, uh, how it is uh, this power is distributed between central and uh, provincial government uh, and as we follow unitary form of government so you have to explain mainly the our form of government is unitary okay so 
have a nice time see you very soon again uh, may Allah bless all of you and last of all um, it is my request if you are benefited from this lecture please share it as Satka or Satka Jariya so that everyone may get benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is